Hey guys, it's Lewis here. Here's an after video of the Baja Warrior that I finished for one of my crew members. His name is Noel. This thing came in as a piece of shit. It was super, super bad. The condition was terrible. Whoever owned this bike, I guess it was a crackhead because it had some crackhead things done to it. So let me show you guys. Like The first thing that, that pisses me off is, you notice how the bars are leaning to the left, like a lot more than to the right because they're welded on. There's some um, bicycle bars they welded on here and there's no nut to hold the triple tree on so notice on this bike there's a nut to hold the triple tree on and there's a riser to hold the bars on so i don't know why they do that i don't know how you'd lose it but right. this is the way it came in and i tried my best to work around it so the second thing it came with was a camshaft so it came with a car camshaft welded as a foot peg you guys can go ahead and see it on my Instagram. It was a whole camshaft welded as a foot peg over there. Went ahead, took that off. It was a pain in the ass to get it off. The way they had it welded, they had a whole honeycomb shaped weld around it. So I used an angle grinder, a die grinder, a fucking um, a Dremel, porting burrs, little discs, big discs to get it off. The only thing I didn't want to do was cut through the frame. Um, that was my main concern. So I tried everything I could, all the angles I could to get to get most of the weld off, and I just hammered the shit out of it and got it off. So um, if you guys know me on Mini Bike Nation, you've seen the post um, where I uploaded the photo of it, and most of the guys were dying laughing in the comments. Most of the guys actually liked it. They were calling the bike a hot rod. I was like, no, bro. That thing looked like a piece of shit. So the bike is done now. It's 100%. The guy's happy with it. I'm happy with it, and that's all that matters. So, the build is basically, it came with a 196cc. It was a total junk motor. Oil leaks everywhere. Cracked valve cover. Notice where the dent, I had to put in the tube under the seat to clear the valve cover. They didn't do that. They hammered on the valve cover to clear the, to clear the frame. So, I got him a new motor. With the new build, you want a new motor. He wanted the stock 196cc on here because it was running good. I was like, bro, no. The guy gave me a budget for the build. I was like, bro, I got you. So, hooked him up. He went over the color scheme with me, color theme with me, where he wanted the green, where he wanted the black specifically. Did the yellow uh, lettering for him because that's what he wanted. Black outerwear. New seat. New neon grips from eBay. Um, a Go Power Sports clutch guard. A um, The stock pipe that came with it, actually, but it was super, super rusted, so I wire brushed the pipe and... Um, and did a black heat paint on it. So um, I went ahead and got him a new uh, foot peg bar, which is a 7 8 bar. I got the grips from Walmart. They're bicycle grips for handlebars. Um, got him new brake pads, painted the rims gloss black. New tires that he brought over. Basic stage one with governor removal and oil sensor removal. Um, new seat, like I said. And that's really about it. It's a straight chained Baja. So it goes from the clutch to the rear and that takes away a little bit of low end, but it makes up for its often because like I said in my last video, we ride street. So we don't really care about torque. The only time we need, we use torque is to get off the line after like a red light or um, if we go get food or something. But uh, most of the time we're riding with cars and we'd like to keep up with cars. So we like to do in the 55 to 60 mile an hour range and that's very reasonable for a stock motor stage one bike. So. Um, it's on your gear, it's on your tire height, and it's on your RPM. So take advantage of the RPM gear for top end. And yeah, that's really about it. There's nothing really complicated about it. I'm going to go ahead and make another video on gears and motors and RPM and all that good stuff. Because the video I made before, a while back, a couple months ago, was not really informed very well. It was unorganized. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new video in about a week. Maybe today, I don't know. Um... Just to go over all, go over most of the information I have because I have new information. Um, and yeah, this could help guys out with mini bikes because most people are so confused about it on gear, gear ratio, tire height, and all that good stuff. So straight clutch. This is a, another build that I did for a customer. And I'm getting off topic here, but this is a torque, not a torque converter. This is a jack shaft setup, which the gear in the jack shaft setup behind that cover is is more for torque so if you were to straight clutch this it'll lose that torque but it'll gain at least 20 miles an hour up top the guy this is for a kid actually his dad dropped it off to get a little boost out of it 
and it picked up some RPMs and quite a bit of torque with the stage one kit. So it's a um, like a like a little weenie pipe I had laying around, a second galvanized steel pipe, and um, this is a um, RLV muffler, just black heat paint basic stage one on it governor removal and that's about it i chopped the fenders too if you guys seen my last video yesterday on the 420 that i did you guys could see that i was working on it so i like to remove the fenders here i did the same with this bike notice how the fenders um the fender hangers and all are gone from the front and rear so i just think it looks super super good without the fenders um if you're riding in dirt you're gonna splash a shit ton of dirt and mud on your shirt but these are kind of street bikes, and there's not really a need for fenders on the street. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Hope you enjoyed, and yeah, see ya.